The wreckage was tucked just inside the wood line, the final resting place after what was described as a fiery crash. The single-engine beach craft took off from Jack Edwards Airport in Gulf Shores and around 20 minutes later disappeared from radar. It was on the ground and on fire. Gulf Shores pilot David Walter flew us over the crash site. So David, as an experienced pilot, what does that look like to you? It looks like he got the clear, but he had too much speed. Even with GPS coordinates, it was still hard to find the plane. Tuesday night, the wreckage had been spotted by a Coast Guard aircraft. It would take first responders a couple of hours to locate the wreckage. The only way to get to it was with all-terrain vehicles. And by the time they did, there was nothing that could be done for the pilot or his passenger.